I was thinking they were uh, Matt Nagy sounds like my mom when I was in college and she said when I graduated I had to move out of the house I knew the whole time that wasn't gonna happen I moved out at 38 years old that's how long I stayed it's like the same thing like so here's the, here's what I think I think he is all in to the idea of Justin Fields playing I do think we're gonna see Justin Fields this season but for now the blueprint is gonna be the famous blueprint that just works and it's just such a great example right what the Kansas City Chiefs did. Andy Dalton is going to play the role of what we saw Alex Smith do as that veteran quarterback, the starter taking first team reps, while good old, you know, the okay average Patrick Mahomes sat behind him and then, of course, became the breakout player that he is. So they're trying to use that same blueprint, apply to Chicago, get the young rookie caught up, have him learn the offense, take that pressure off while he learns, and Andy Dalton can run the offense until – until they start losing. Uh, so, Swagoo, as you hear the coach saying, Andy Dalton is our quarterback, what do you think? I think in his heart of hearts, he knows he's lying, G. At some point, <laughs> Justin Fields will take over the starting position in the offseason and be the starter. And listen, this is not based on emotion for me. I think Justin Fields, as far as what he'll be able to show now that we do, will have an offseason and a preseason, will make it clear that he should be the starter going into week one. Remember, last year, man, we saw, I was so enamored with Justin Herbert because he didn't have that opportunity. We didn't know what type of quarterback he was going to be based on all of the things that were talked about him coming out of Oregon and he went and had a tremendous amount of success and why did he have that success because of athleticism because he can slow the game down by getting his own self out of trouble and I believe Justin offers that as well I'm not trying to take shots at Andy Dalton Andy Dalton has been a solid starter in the NFL but you know what the damn Chicago Bears ain't looking for a solid starter so they're gonna to try to bring this young guy along I understand why Matt Nagy is saying what he's saying, but I expect Justin Fields at some point to take over these first team reps in the offseason and become the starter week one for the Chicago Bears. Dominique, what do you think? Yeah, I think Marcus is right. I think the Kansas City model worked because they were good the year prior. Their coach had uh, job yes. security, and they were good all season the year that, um, uh, that Alex Smith was, or Alex Smith the last Alex year there. Smith. This situation isn't like that. They weren't. They made their playoffs last year, but nobody thinks that they were good, and no one thinks they're going to rip off a bunch of wins early in the season with Andy Dalton. The sooner that they can get Justin Fields taking reps with the ones, the more likely he is to succeed, and they have reason to believe he might have success because in Nagy's first year, Trubisky's second year, Trubisky made the Pro Bowl and was third in the NFL in the NFL by QBR, using a lot of the athleticism that, that Trubisky had. Uh, Justin Fields does everything Trubisky does, but better. So I think that Matt Nagy has to be excited about the potential of doing that. And like Marcus said, no disrespect to Andy Dalton, but Andy Dalton ain't going to do all that. The floor is, is pretty, um, yeah. pretty high for Justin Fields because of his playing experience. The floor is pretty low for Andy Dalton behind a bad offensive line. Sorry, yeah, Dan. Uh, 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 so the Bears. No, no, Dom, you're you're right. He's he's got to learn this offense too. That's something Nagy yeah, that's pointed fair. out. Andy, this is a new offense for Andy, right? So we, we have so, everyone's learning right now, but he just might get the edge just because he has the experience. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.